take my old route to work. Haven't been this way in a while. Kind of brings back all the memories of uh, living over here and all the all the times I went this way going to work. Kind of like uh, returning to the place you started, you know. It's a good feeling. So much has happened lately with YouTube and vlogging. And the whole year that I've been doing videos, I've never been so involved with the community and other vloggers. I don't know, I'm not used to it, you know. I'm getting kind of overwhelmed with uh, all the responses and things that everyone's doing, you know. I finally hit that point where I'm just like, uh, astounded on where I actually got to. Not like subwise, but like, uh, like internally, like how I feel about uh, the hobby that I do. I actually feel like I finally moved up and I'm starting the next level, you know. I got past all that beginning shit and my all the learning and trials and stuff that it took to actually start this channel and how to edit the videos and just basically the whole thing. I feel like I finally graduated to become an actual vlogger and I couldn't even imagine myself not being a vlogger, you know? Like, I don't film every day, but if I knew I was gonna get on my bike and I couldn't share, or at least have the, the opportunity to share the ride with other people, I would be crushed. And to all those new vloggers out there starting, don't ever get discouraged about views. Got one. people steer away from like the money topic and yeah it's, it's fucking awesome to make money that's something you love to do heck yeah and it's even more awesome to be popular you know have tons of followers you know subscribers and interactions with hundreds of people i mean that's obviously the goal you know but if you're not motor vlogging for yourself for like self-satisfaction you're missing out I haven't been handed like a big shout out. Like I would obviously love a shout out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm so happy to have earned every single subscriber on my own. And to be able to comment and talk with you guys and build that actual fan base friendships means way more to me than the money it brings, which it's not much yet because I, funny story, side topic, let me just get it out real quick. I have been vlogging for over a year, haven't made a cent. I talked to Ibn R, he told me uh, he made like $3 or so far on his new channel. And I'm like, what the hell? So I figured out I didn't have my AdSense account connected. So I haven't been making uh, money this whole time. And I don't even care. You know, I'm happy I didn't make money. And I'm happy I haven't got any big shout outs. If you want to shout me out, totally do it. You know, but I feel really good about where I'm at. And I just want all you to know that. And I don't only just vlog for me, I vlog very much for you. Oh, those flowers smell so good. So a funny story, uh, it was a Mother's Day back when I was probably like five to seven, somewhere in that area, I don't know. And uh, my dad took us to one of these like flower fields, you know, where they grow flowers for like Walmart and you know, where you buy flowers. And uh, it was like nighttime, so we we're basically gonna wink, wink, steal some flowers for my mom. We are gonna fresh pick flowers for her. So we did that, picked out a bunch of nice flowers, loaded them up in the blazer. And then when we got home, because it was dark, we couldn't see. We saw that the flowers were covered in like bugs and shit. 
they were like all over the inside of the floor on the blazer and swarming the flowers. I don't know what they were. But we never, we went to the store and bought flowers after that. We didn't end up giving them to my mom, I don't believe. Yeah, just a little side story about flowers. And there's the strip club. All kinds of titties be shaking up in there. It's called explicit. Ain't that some shit? But I don't got time for this traffic jam. remember when I used to do videos going this way? It was always fucking dark and shit. There ain't nothing to look at out here. There's the airport. Oh! Should have dodged that. But I do miss like the longer rides to work. Like being closer to work I get like way less time on my bike. And that sucks. I love these longer rides. Although when it's fucking cold or when it's raining or when it's super hot, this long ass ride sucks. But that's like why I like riding because uh, it's not just like, well, get my car, turn the AC on, everything's perfect. Like, it's always like a little adventure of if you're gonna fucking sweat to death or freeze your fingers off and you can't even move them when you get home. That's so awesome. Oh, he didn't nod at me. Signals, you get a ticket. You know? You know? Ah! Sorry, I've been blinded in the eye by some debris. Please don't merge into me. Don't merge into me. Do it! Yeah. I knew you were fucking coming. That's why I didn't speed up. Whee! Oh man. I'm gonna do a mini high chair. Oh, I'll crash. I only did this like one time. I feel lower than I was before. Mini high chair, yo. Oh, I fucked up.